So when we get exposed to heat, then our body will react to it in ways that I'm sure we've all experienced already. So on the physiological level, our heart rate increases, blood pressure generally tends to increase. We start to sweat because our body is essentially trying to cool down and kind of adapt to that stress, make it so that we can protect our organs and protect everything that's happening inside of our body. Then on a cellular level, things like genes get turned on. And I like to say that turning on genes is like turning on switches. So just like you don't want to keep your AC and your fan and all these things running all the time the cell doesn't leave all its genes on so it has genes that will turn on when it's exposed to heat stress or any kind of stress to essentially kick on that AC to cool things down and keep things a little bit healthier and make sure that it can adapt and survive that heat stress so when you're overheating that stress is essentially becoming extreme and coming to that point where it's actually doing damage so overheating is when your body's mechanisms, those physiological changes that I told you about and all those genetic changes, turning on those switches, turning on the AC and stuff. So even though these adaptive mechanisms are still being active, it's not enough because the damage has become overbearing and has essentially superseded any of those things. And so now you start to actually damage the cell. You start to damage your body, cells start to die, cells start to get damaged, and then this is where you will start to have some more like catastrophic effects and you get sick, etc.